So I uh, got a still camera and I started, you know, showing up to scenes and taking pictures and sending them in and, you know, eventually, you know, they, they published and uh, that kind of uh, grew into me, you know, getting other photo assignments as a freelancer for North County Times and started, you know, shooting video and just kind of, you know, gone from, you know, two police scanners to uh, the obsession that we're at now. Uh, I've wanted to... Uh, to be a cop for a while. Doing this job, I've seen so many horrific car crashes, and almost 99% of all horrific, bad crashes are all DUI related, and that you know just really gets me going. And I, I want to you know be a cop to uh, you know, investigate those collisions and put those people in jail. about 20 feet down an embankment and is stuck in the in a ditch at this point I don't know if it rolled or what the specifics of the collision are but the person a female appears to still be inside the vehicle so we don't know if uh, at this point if she's trapped in there and they need to cut her out or uh, if she's just uh, passed out or what the deal is Three calls, 10 for us. The Stephanie that was also involved, she's the one that is off of the roadway, cannot find her driver, and she said she's in a dark area and can't see anything. 20 calls, she did not know where she was. She stated she was asleep in the vehicle and woke up and cracked and had been in a traffic collision. She's in a dark area. She can't see anything. And her driver is missing. That's all I have. So, there's a... One lady, one occupant that's down, way down there, and they're still looking for the driver. Keeping an eye out for bodies. Yep. What about to keep you out of my scenes, Anthony? Past the depth bottom of the gun. I don't know how it got over there. That's incredible. Uh, I know how it did it. <laughs> yeah. How did it drive? Did it fly? Pretty much. What the hell? Take that, LA.
uh, critical status right now. And he's thrown from his vehicle, which is about 100 feet that way. And uh, they were looking around with their infrared cameras and they found him passed out in critical condition. Who is that? It's dope. I'm standing right above you. Up in LA you have so many stories to choose from and you have so many fires and fatalities and homicides and the you know most visual and interesting stories to to go off of and down in San Diego we get to you know focus more on you know the stuff that's happening in people's communities a lot more and I, I think that that's that, that's really special for you know the area that I cover.